Well, let's talk about fractions. What information does a fraction convey? So if I have the fraction 1 fourth, what type of information does that convey? Well, it, it, it conveys two pieces of information. And they relate to, uh, it, it's always related to one whole thing. So for instance, we have a whole circle here. You can think of this as a pie. It's, it's usually the, the easiest way to think about it. So we have one whole pie. The bottom number, known as the denominator, so let me write this out. Denominator. The denominator tells us how many pieces to cut this pie into? So in this case, we're going to cut the pie into four pieces. Now it's important that you remember that the pieces are equal sized. They're always equally sized pieces. So there we go. We've cut this pie into four equally sized pieces. Now the top number, it, oops, its name is the numerator. And it tells us how many pieces of, of that pie we have. So in our case, we have one of the four pieces. Okay. If this 1 was not a 1, but was instead a 2, well then we would have 2 of the 4 pieces. And so on and so forth. If it was a 3, well then quite simply we would have 3 of the 4 pieces. Oops, sorry about that. And if it was a four, well, then we'd have four of the four pieces, or in other words, we'd have one whole pie. Okay. Fair enough. What if we instead had, or well, let's look at another example, I should say. What if we have now one third, the fraction 1 over 3. Well, first of all, how many pieces of pi are we going to have? How many pieces are we going to cut this pi into? We're going to cut it into three equally sized pieces. So again, the denominator, the number on the bottom, tells us how many equally sized pieces to cut our pi into. How many pieces, uh, how many of these three pieces are we going to have? Well, we're going to have one out of the three. That's what the numerator tells us. And you can do this for any numbers. You could cut a pie, for instance, into uh, eight pieces. So you could, have, you could have five out of eight pieces. So this would be a pie cut into eight equal pieces, and you would have five of them. And, and again, you could do that with any two numbers. So the idea behind a fraction is, is really, really simple. Things get a little bit more uh, involved when we start talking about adding fractions together or multiplying fractions and things like that. So let's, let's go ahead and look at doing things like that in the next few videos. See you then.